Hello everyone and welcome to the WorkGlue Paint Scout tutorial for managing quotes. You'll want to familiarize yourself with Paint Scout via their online tutorials at www.paintscout.com. Be sure to set up your profile and account settings before entering any job information into WorkGlue. In the Paint Scout profile, you'll find integrations and an area to insert the WorkGlue API key. Your API key can be found in WorkGlue under Support, then Account, and scroll to the bottom. Be sure to check off the actions you wish to take for work orders and align your cost codes, materials, and units of measure with WorkGlue. If your WorkGlue account is connected to QuickBooks Online, we do not recommend also connecting your Paint Scout account. This may cause inaccurate data to appear between the programs, and it will be best to have the ongoing job costing information come from WorkGlue, as this information may change throughout the life of the job. Now that we have that backend information set up, let's get started by entering a lead in WorkGlue. Head to your WorkGlue dashboard and enter a lead as you normally would. The job type here should match to what you've set up in Paint Scout. Paint Scout will provide a more detailed way of entering the internal work description and scope of work, so no need to enter anything here. Hit Save New Lead Job and then continue to the Job Detail page. Simply verify the information so far and scroll down to the Original Estimate section. Select your quote type and hit the Paint Scout button. It's very important that you do not enter any line items or information into the estimate section below. This will remove the opportunity to send to Paint Scout, so we want to leave this blank. Hitting the Paint Scout button will navigate you to the start of a quote, and now you'll see all the customer information here to start you off. Go ahead and begin building your quote here. You may include your options for the purpose of sending a quote to your customer. These will not pull into WorkGlue initially. If and when they are approved, you'll need to add them to the proposal and resend the quote to WorkGlue. We can hit save and then the drop down to choose our sending options. At the bottom, you have an option to send to WorkGlue. Now you can navigate back to WorkGlue, refresh your page, and as you scroll down, you'll see the PDF versions have been moved to the document section. Drag those to the appropriate binder tab. and the line items are available below. The total price line item should match the original bid total. Now you can continue along your way with the job as normal in WorkGlue. When the estimate is approved by the customer, you can lock it as normal. Be sure to continue updating the job status as this will not happen automatically. As you change your status, the estimate will push into QuickBooks Online as it normally would. Let's head back to our estimate in Paint Scout and click on the pancake stack icon on the right side. If you hit advanced, the WorkGlue job ID will appear showing the link between the two. This exciting new feature should save you data entry and streamline your estimating process with your job management. You may reach out to Paint Scout with any questions through their chat icon at the bottom of the screen and via the support button on the top right corner of your WorkGlue screen or send us an email at support at We'll see you next time.